Hey everybody, today I'm going to be covering the Vox Glitch Groove Box. The Vox Glitch Groove Box is an 8 track sample playback drum machine with per step pattern locks. There are both individual track outputs as well as mix outputs. For this tutorial, we'll be using the mix outputs. The Vox Glitch Groove Box layout is similar to a traditional drum machine with step buttons and a playback position indicator light. Stepping the drum machine requires that you provide a clock signal at the clock input. The clock signal must be fast, 32 times faster than the desired playback speed. This is to accommodate a ratcheting feature that we'll discuss in a moment. There's also a reset feature for restarting playback. Each of the eight tracks holds one sample. Samples are configurable and should be in WAV format. No default samples are provided, so you're going to have to go hunt for your own. There are three ways of loading samples. The first and easiest way is to double click on the track sample display box. You can also right click and load individual samples into the eight sample slots, although this is probably pretty tedious. Finally, if you right click and select a folder, the first eight samples from that folder will be loaded. Let's create a simple kick drum track. First, select the track that you'd like to edit. Press the step inputs where you'd like the beats to play. Each track has properties that can be set for each step. For example, I can adjust the volume of the third drum beat. Or I can adjust the pitch of the second drum beat. The 16 buttons labeled MEM are memory slots. Memory slots are used to store and retrieve all the track data and parameter locks. Changes that you make are automatically saved to the selected memory slot. To copy memory from one slot to another, select the memory slot that you'd like to copy and press the copy button. Then select the destination memory slot and press the paste button. You may select memory slots using control voltage by providing a CV source at the MEM CV input. A voltage of 0 to 10 selects the entire range of memory. While a cable is connected to the CV input, the buttons no longer have any effect. Hey, high five. This is Brett. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoy my modules. If you want to support me on Patreon, uh, the link's down below. Thanks.